the single most thing you could do to help someone is really be there to listen and to back them up to they have a right to be their own health coach. They have a right to get answers. They have a right to go into the doctor with a list and say, I need you to answer one, two, three, four. And if they don't answer it, they have a right to leave. So start things off, just tell me a little bit about your story. When were you diagnosed with celiac and what was your reaction to that news? So I was diagnosed uh, about four years ago. My first symptom was at birth, came out with an allergic reaction, um, had problems until the time, I didn't have teeth come in properly uh, or at all, um, uh, adult teeth, um, panic attacks at 12. Um, 15 is when I finally started saying, there's something wrong, and I'm thinking and pointing to my gut and it was from 15 to 35 that the journey continued to try and get an answer to what was happening to me. And you can, you can open a book of symptoms for celiac disease, which they're all over the map, but I pretty much crossed every single one of them. So how did you feel when you finally got the diagnosis and, and, and had something to something to name what you've been experiencing I your whole life. I was thrilled. I was thrilled because for 20-something years I was told it was in my mind, I was crazy, you need therapy, you need to not be so stressed, it's your upbringing, it's your parents, it's your psychic thing from the past life. I was told everything. And I went down every road because I just wanted an answer. But in my gut, I knew that there was something wrong. I think something that we focus on here at Integrative Nutrition is this idea of treat the cause, not the symptoms. Absolutely. And no one does that anymore. No yeah. one does that anymore. It's, I mean, the amount of people that are on Ativan, Valium, Klonopin, Prozac, whatever, for emotional issues or depression or anxiety, when 95% of the serotonin in the, is, is in the gut, and if the gut is off and the serotonin is off, then the mood is off, the brain is off. I don't think many people even realize that. But I think it all has to do with money, unfortunately. If there was a pill that they could say, this pill will cure you from celiac disease, we'd all have it. We'd all be diagnosed. This is the, really the only disease that you could not sell us a medication for. And it's all handled through food. Medical department doesn't like that. Insurance doesn't like that. Think about any sickness. You know, you break your leg, you're waiting. Oh, when is my leg getting better? Even with cancer. I have cancer. Oh, I'm in remission. That's fantastic. There's no celiac. I'm not celiac anymore. That doesn't happen. So that life that you led before of, hey, you want to go to dinner? That doesn't happen. Hey, let's go travel. That doesn't happen. Doesn't happen like that. Just doesn't. The entire thing changes. Go on a date with someone, hey, I'm going to kiss you after I had a cheese doodle. All of those things change, all of it. And if you think it doesn't, you're kidding yourself. What kind of support would have been most helpful for you in, in making the transition so it wasn't as life altering The single most important thing I truly feel for anyone dealing with an illness is to be there to listen and not to judge, and not to put them in a category, and not to give them a quick fix, is to listen to what they're saying. Really listen. And offer advice for that specific human being. It's not, well, you know, I have a friend who did that, and that, you have to listen to what this person is saying. This day and age, everyone has stress, everyone has anxiety. I don't want anyone to write that off as why they're not feeling good anymore. It doesn't, that doesn't count. There's an underlying reason. The single most thing you could do to help someone is really be there to listen and to back them up to, they have a right to be their own health coach. They have a right to get answers. They have a right to go into the doctor with a list and say, I need you to answer one, two, three, four. And if they don't answer it, they have a right to leave. I, I have told so many people that write to me, oh, my doctor said I don't need to have a test for celiac disease. Go get another doctor. I don't care. I was told I didn't need it. I did need it. 
So, again, I'm not, I'm not bashing doctors, but they are human. Mm -hmm. They're human, and we are human. And I'm sorry, I think me living in my body for so many years knows my body a little bit more than someone I'm meeting for 15 minutes, at best. So, you know, I, being your own advocate and listening to your gut, and giving them that power if maybe they've lost it because they've heard too much nonsense is huge. Just and that's huge. Thank you thank for being you. here and everything you're doing. Thanks.